Okay, so we're nearly at the two and a half minutes of stirring. Just want to pop a couple of bubbles before I start mixing the colours. Uh, with this piece, I'm going to be using some green crushed, crushed glass that I did myself and some green resin liquid I've got here. It's just off eBay. Um, it's nothing huge. Uh, I've had it for a while, so I'm not entirely sure what the brand was. So that's the green. Um, I might even throw in some uh, pearl pigment of dark green as well. Just the, we shall see. Right, let's do this. So, crushed glass, like I said. I'm sure you now smooth this out the way so you can see it. So it's just there, just some beads that I crushed myself. Um, nothing special, just a rag. A hammer, and away we went. So the sculpture is actually going to be doing it on this tray. It's a silicon tray. Found that they do come out quite easily, and then I can shape them when needed. So let's go with. Base resin at the minute. Just hold the glass in place. Um, a bit of sparkle, maybe a bit of silver, and a bit of light green before I do the dark. So again, pearl pigment, bright silver. You don't need a tiny amount of this for what I'm going to be doing. It's leveled out, so I don't have to worry about that at the minute. You'll probably just see progressions on the video as a cutout. We'll see how we go. All I ever do. So let's a little bit of a pour. Mixing the silver and the green. tiny amount really for the colours. I learned that I was mixing too much colour rather than the clear. Figure that out as you go along like I did I guess. So, literally is a tiny amount just for what I need for a sparkle. Just a background. Turn the music down for a second. Alexa, volume three. There we go. Might be better for you. You watch, I'll have to do the entire video again, but we'll see. <laughs> and the green. So this literally is just the base coat to hold the glass in place. That was uh, four drops. Let's get a bit more light. There we go, might be easy for you to see. Just giving these. Um, Resin liquid's a good stir so that you don't have any lines in it. Got a feeling because this one's green, my mother's going to try and steal it off me and it won't be for sale, but if I'm lucky, it'll uh, be going in the new online store when I finish setting that up. But I'm just making items to go in there for now. Cat's whinging, she wants to come up, but keep her away for now. 
should probably appear in most of these videos. Now then, let's get the glass in. These glass beads are really cheap. Uh, get them from any shop, really. A um, couple of quid get you a decent bag used over and over again this is like a quarter of the bag that I'm using as I've already made one I still got over half left so I have to make some more up but we'll see it. Start spreading it round. So it's just a base coat. What I also found was uh, at, wait at least 20, 25 minutes with your glass cast base coats before adding the colours. That way they're not mixing too much and you can get the shapes you want out of them. Um, I have found that I end up coming back, say, every 25 minutes if I'm going to be swirling it, just to make sure that I get the shapes that I want before it dries. But while I'm working on other bits, it's quite easily to do that all at the same time. Okay, so that's the base setting for me. Probably cut the video out here, come back when I'm ready to put the colours in. A little pour of the green into the centre. Lighten. Might be better. I'll just let it settle as it pleases, as I'll be mixing them in as I go. about any colour mixes, that's all going to be going on anyway.
great way to tinker on a Sunday when you're bored. I'm trying to see how much less this one uses because they have like nearly 400 of the resin in total for the last one but I had so much left over end up mixing it into a few other moulds so if I need more I will do more but we're going on the basis of basically close to 300 for this one I think in total of the glass cast 1050 let's get the swirls going She's using the toothpick I have also found when I was doing this that even though I'm doing these swirls now you will be coming back to do them again as it settles quite well and all the colours go back together but this one is basically just so I can see what I've got to play with while I'm doing it. There's no specific order that I'm doing this in, just play as I go, mix and see what comes out, it's all the fun. So I'm going to give that about, let's see, 15 minutes, so it's now quarter to five, so five o'clock I'll be back to pour the leaf green, maybe some more gold, like I say I've still got too much. Um, I'll go in another mode by the look of it. The screen's looking quite well. I'll be back to pop some bubbles. Now what I'm going to do is disappear again, leave this for say an hour, then come back, swirl it, check on it every 15-20 minutes after that swirling. Once it's set to a standard I'm quite happy with then I'll just leave it to probably cure which will probably be about 12 hours but what I'll probably do is take it out before then maybe six hours so that I can shape it while it's still soft okay so I'm back um, as you can see the uh, resin has leveled out with the colors again um, no problem leveling this resin, it's great. Get through some bubbles in a minute. So what I'm going to do in a second is just go past with a toothpick again. Drag the colours out. And get some designs as it's slowly starting to set. A lot of that gold was mixed in with the green but I don't mind so much. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's much thicker now. Let's get these swirls out. Okay, so it's been about six hours. I'm releasing it from the mold now. I did it a second ago, but it's fine. Just get rid of this. And so clean up the edges at the end, as you can imagine. It's exactly as I need it, completely malleable and it's beautiful, it's got some great shape and colour and even on the back, look at that shine, all that glitter, both sides really pop so you can do both sides. But what I'm going to do with this one is bend it and leave it overnight so we need some cans. So, take some soup cans, put them under one, bend it one way, 